part one, two, three on how to memorize the numbers. Let's go. Hey, what's going on, Lewis Angel, your memory mind coach, right here with the AE Mind. I am right here going to show you how to go about turning the next few numbers, set of numbers, into pictures so that we're able to memorize them um, at the end of this series. I'll show you exactly how to go about taking the pictures and following them to different locations so that you can memorize numbers, long strings of numbers. So let's go ahead and continue on with the series. All right, so in the previous videos, we showed you what? How to convert numbers from 0 through 9. And the one before that, I showed you how we really go about converting numbers into pictures and if you haven't done so make sure you check out both of those videos before you continue on with this video right here even with the series now we move on to creating the next set of numbers which is what from 10 through 19 we're gonna convert those numbers into pictures remember the basics are what we take the number itself so say like 10 we take the number 1 we take the number 0 we get the consonant values out of them, the consonant sounds out of both of those numbers, and we create an image by just throwing a few vowels in there. Now, the number one is what? T or a D sound, right? The number zero is like the C sound, um, or even the Z sound. So we take the one and the zero, we throw in a few vowels, in this case we're going to use a D sound for the number one and the C sound for the number zero, and we create a picture which in this case from now on every time you see or hear uh, the number 10 what you are going to picture is dice so picture like a set of dice for number 10 maybe you're at the uh, you know you're at a casino and you just you know you're shooting crafts and you, you know you're rolling dice so picture dice for number 10 the next one is what the number 11 so we take the number one the number one we throw in uh, the consonant sounds and replace those uh, numbers with consonant sounds so one and one is what T and T the T sound and the T sound for like top of your head and you throw in a few vowels in this case we're just throwing one vowel the U so T and T is uh, and the U is what T so my picture for number 11 and yours you can also create your own picture if you want using the same consonant sounds just throwing different vowels create a different word for a different image uh, in this case if you want to just use the same ones I'm using go ahead my picture is T like King T so picture like King to maybe you know he's coming back from the dead and but he's still in that you know in the in the coffin that he's in all mummified still and but he's you know he's able to walk run and do all kinds of great things so every time you see the number 11 you hear the number 11 you read the number 11 you think of King Tut so Tut for number 11. Now before we move on to the next set of numbers, number 12, I want to commend you on just continuing the series because check this out, a lot of people out there that I know, even personally, even out there in the YouTube world or in the internet world, wherever you're from right now, there's a lot of people who might have just watched maybe one of the, the first video on how to memorize numbers or even the second one and they said, you know what, this is not I, I, it is going to be too much work I'm going to have to put in. Um, I don't get this. I don't know how exactly it works, this and that. You know what? I just don't want to learn it. And those are the people that end up just giving up real easily in everything they end up doing. They start something and they just say, you know what? I give up. And guess what? Successful people have the total opposite belief system. If they really want to learn something, they do whatever it takes to be able to understand that whether it be actually listening or watching the videos and then going about doing the activity and then if they have questions they ask questions those are people that succeed and I know you are one of them you want to learn this system you want to learn how to be able to memorize long strings of numbers or if you already know how to do it you just you know you're uh, learning from a different perspective as well whatever it is that you want to do right now with this system great keep going keep learning it gets easier and easier the more and more that you do it like myself I learned this like really in about a week uh, of really dedicating time to it because you know what I used to drive uh, up and down I used to work for a satellite TV company so I used to drive from house to house and during my routes I used to have a lot of dead time so I would just pop on you know my mp3 listen to uh, my mentors program memory in a month and boom I listened to that you know and, and I learned the system as I was driving I would picture everything that he was telling me to picture and I would just do it I was do it as I was driving or as I was doing my job I would just do what he was telling me to do so 
that's what I gotta tell you right now too. Is as you're learning this, just do the activities that I'm telling you to do. It's it's very easy to learn it. You just gotta dedicate a little bit of time, set some time aside. All right, let's continue on. Number twelve is what the number one, the number two. Number one is the T sound or the D sound. In this case, we're just using a T sound. The number two is the M sound, like for notes. So we take the number one, the number two, we create a uh, picture out of it by throwing in a vowel or a few vowels. And for my number, my picture for number 12 is um, the tin. So tin can. Every time I see the number 12, I read the number 12, I you know hear the number 12, I think of a tin can. So from this point forward, the number 12 for you will represent a tin can. All right, let's go on to the next one, 13. 13, 1 and 3, that's the T and the M sound, uh, or even the D sound for the number 1. Remember, you can throw in either one. For that one, the picture for number 13 is a dome. So picture a dome glass uh, for number 13. Next one is one that we've actually already have done in the previous video. So one and four. So the picture for number 14 is what? The T sound, the R sound, a tire. So picture a tire just rolling down for number 14. 15 is what? The one, the five, the T, and the L. So picture a tile, throwing a few vowels to create uh, that picture, tile, for number 15. So from this point forward, number 15 is a tile. 16. 16 is what? The one, the six, you throw in a D sound, throw in a sh sound, you create a dish. For me, it's actually a satellite dish. For you, it can be, you know, it's something, another type of dish, maybe like a plate. Uh, that, that represents a dish for you. So, whatever you can picture for dish, picture that, you know, uh, picture that, and from this point forward, 16 is going to be a dish. So, whenever you think of the number 16, whenever you see the 16, whenever you hear the 16, think of a dish. Next one is 17. 17 is what? The T sound, the cuss sound. My picture for number 17 is a tack, like a thumb tack. So picture a big fat thumb tack with a sharp pointy end and you're just like sticking it to a wall. And that from this point forward is 17. Next one is 18. 18 is a one, the one which is a T sound or the D sound. And the eight is what? The V sound and the F sound. So in this case, we'll take the D, we'll take the the V and we'll throw in a few vowels in there to create a dove. So picture a white dove for number 18. Number 18 is a dove. 19. 19 for me is the T sound, the B sound. Remember, 9 is either the P sound or the B sound. In this case, we'll use the B sound. And the number 19 is going to be a tub. So for me, every time I see the number 19, as I'm memorizing numbers, I I see the number 19 and I picture a tub, like a bathtub. Remember, there are five key things to being able to memorize anything. Number one is what? Focus. Number two is file. Number three is picture. Number four is glue, the action. Um, and number five is review. So let's go ahead. We already created the pictures. Let's go ahead and review. That's essential. Space repetition is the mother of all steel. So you want to, you know, repeat this a few times. And I'll give you a test so that you'll be able to really cement these uh, pictures for numbers throughout, you know, uh, later on down the road. So 10 is what? 11? What about 14? Remember it was a tire? What about 16? Dish? 18, picture a white dove, what about 19, think of it, just turn the number to a consonant sound, throw in a few vowels, and you get what, tub, 10 again, 13, 19 again. All right, I'm pretty sure you guys got this down. If not, once again, review it, review it, review it. Go back, watch the video again. I even have uh, the PDF file where you can download all of these um, translations from numbers to pictures. Go to aemind.com slash memory training and click on how to memorize numbers or even just follow a link down below and uh, I'll have the PDF file for these set of numbers as well. Alright, so for your task for this video, uh, do the same thing as you did in the last video where you got some flashcards, right? You got a flashcard, you wrote down the number, so let's do like 10. So you got the number 10 and 
you you did what? You went on Google Images and then you printed out the representation for the number 10. In this case, it's what? Dice. So you go to Google Images, type in dice, whatever picture you like from there, print it out and then paste it on the back of number 10. That way you you know you're reviewing. You go, okay, what's the what's the picture for number 10? If you don't know it, flip it to the back. Oh, that's dice. Oh, what's a what's a number that represents a number of the picture dice? And you'd be like, uh, okay, that's 10. Oh shit, I got it right. <laughs> so do that for every single one of the numbers from 10 to 19. And if you haven't done it for the last video that we did, make sure you do that from 0 to 9 and then from 10 through 19. And then I just want you to review, 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 review. Have a friend do this for you. Have a friend give you the flashcard and, and you know, test you. Be like, okay, what's the picture for number 10? I'm like, ah, okay, that's a dice. Boom. Flip it over, you're right. All right, so uh, that's it for the task. Go ahead and do that. Remember, it's important for you to do the activities that I'm giving you. That's how you really learn and grow. And as you're going along with this series or even any other memory training series that I have on aemind.com slash memory training or just my YouTube channel dot com slash aemind, uh, if you're you know going through any of these videos and you're having difficulty with any of the understanding any of the concepts that, concepts that I'm giving you, make sure that you go to aemind.com. I have like a forum there where you can ask any question and then I'll answer it or other mental athletes will answer it. So go to aemind.com slash uh, forum or uh, go to aemind.com. There's a forum there. Go ahead and click on it and then you'll be able to get access to me. So I'll answer your questions. So make sure you do that. So that's it. Make sure you click like. Check me out at amind.com once again. And I'll see you on the next video where I show you how to go from the numbers 20 through 29. So I'll, I'll help you convert those numbers into pictures. So that we'll be able to memorize long string digits of uh, numbers later on. Real, real soon actually. So that's it. Let's go. Let's make it happen. And I'll see you on the next video. Come on.